Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of our chart videos. In previous videos we show you our 3 chart libraries that you can use in our plugin that is Google Charts, High Charts and Chart.js and today's topic will be how you can increase the customability of the charts by using chart callbacks. I'm here like always with Alexander and he will show, you, show us how we can use the callbacks. So without further ado, Alexander you can start. Okay. Um, the documentation about callbacks is under information for developers front end chart callbacks so um, this goes without saying since it's under information for developers that you do need some uh, coding experience to work with uh, callbacks uh, we're gonna be doing this example right here without data labels and with the legend below so uh, we have a table, a simple table with names and uh, some integers in this column and we will be creating a chart right now from that table. So first um, we choose uh, the engine which is high charts in this case. We name it callback and choose the pie chart. On the next page you select the source which is the table and now we simply add these two columns so this is how chart is supposed to be displayed with the default settings. Yeah, so no no legend for this chart that's right now we get the um the uh, short code which we can use and um, we're actually going to add it to a page with elementor uh, when you start typing wp it's right here wp data charts so when we drag it, uh, we choose, uh, this is the wrong ID, let me refresh the page, because we just created the chart, mm -hmm. we need to refresh the page, so. Um, anyway, we drag the widget from here to the page, and we, here it's selected automatically, so update. And now we can see it on the page as it's in the in the wizard so now from the documentation you can actually copy this whole callback and add it to um to let's page. say text editor so in here when we go to text we actually paste it and since the idea of the chart is different we need to change it so replace 16 with 2 and update now the page refreshes and you can see there are no data labels around the chart and here's the legend below so when you hover over it you can actually see uh, which one is highlighted on the chart uh -huh. is there any link where we can see some more options um, for high charts yes uh, this as as, uh, as i said before under support you can actually see a few examples of uh, callbacks being used and um, in there you can click on these links for example high charts api and it'll take you to their pages so um, for example plot option series ex is explained right here um, the um, show legend is explained right here when you click on it it opens up a uh, js fiddle where you can see it in action uh, it's not simply copy and paste, so you have to work with it and, and adopt it to our um, callbacks. So under support, under charts, you can actually see a few examples that you can use to um, add to your charts with a few modifications, of course. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching and just to mention that we are on AppSumo, so if you want to grab uh, unlimited support, updates and also increase the number of domains be sure to check the link below this video and grab the absolute deal thank you again for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in another video bye bye, -bye.